Good morning and welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. We've made it this far, how exciting. So this morning I've just been up cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. I still have some more to do on this side, but dishes are done, dishwasher's running. Um, I did, again, stay a little too long on my phone, so we're not gonna get a workout in this morning because I only have a half hour before I need to start work. And I need to finish editing the video that goes up this morning. So I'm gonna run upstairs, hopefully go do that. Most of it's done. Just gotta throw in like my end clips and export. So hopefully that'll be up later today. It is the last day of work for this week. So I'm hoping it's a nice easy day, but the printing world, you know, there's rushes and thing, people forget about things and need to get it through before they go, before they go on vacation. So that'll probably happen today. Um, but I'm still hoping for a nice chill day. So we shall see. I'm going to drink my coffee. I have just a protein shake in it. I did weigh in again today, like every day. Uh, and I'm back down to my Monday weight, which is great. So the low carb, uh, of yesterday worked. I'm going to try to keep it up today. I really don't have anything that's like super bad for me in the house anymore. Like I don't have that bread anymore. I'm not going to be buying it again, not for a while, just because I think it was a little too much for me currently. Um, I still have like some crackers and stuff, but I don't feel like I go like super overboard on those. I don't know, but going to keep it low carb again today. I have that uh, salad kit for lunch. I'm thinking maybe with some tuna will be good. I also have the enchilada that I'll have to eat at some point. That'll probably be dinner again. Um, and now that I have cured, I don't know, that's not the right word. Now that I have went out and bought my avocado craving, that's gonna be breakfast. One scrambled egg, some avocado, maybe a wasa cracker. Um, like I, I cannot stop thinking about eggs and avocado. So that is definitely gonna happen today. Um, I did not, make it to the grocery store yesterday only to Costco so this morning I was checking I had everything for Christmas Eve and I don't have enough tomato paste for my recipe I just double checked um, so I'm gonna have to run out and go grab more tomato paste hopefully the shelves aren't cleared they sh I mean they should they should be okay this is the recipe that I've recorded before so I have to buy the hunts I have to buy the store brand I'll buy the store brand but uh, and I'm thinking I also want to make some punch that my grandma used to make. Can you get out of there, please? Come here. I just have like, I don't have like a punch bowl, but I have a big like Ikea glass bowl and a ladle. That'll do just fine. Um, and I think it's just like seven up. Hawaiian punch and then sherbet to like as like the ice to like keep it nice and creamy so if I'm going to the store today to get tomato paste I might as well get that stuff because uh, I think everyone will like that and I should probably get some cups like throwaway cups I guess I wasn't as prepared as I thought so I'm gonna be one of those people um, shopping the day two days before Christmas so that will be done well it's three days right it's only the 22nd three days before Christmas so all right, that's enough of me rambling for four minutes. So I'm gonna go finish editing the video and I will see you for breakfast, unless something crazy fun happens, I don't know. Nothing crazy fun happens around here, but you know what I mean. It is breakfast. I got my avocado scrambled egg and a little cracker just for some crunch. Um, pre, not pre-surgery, pureed, that's what I wanna say, I would do one egg and like half of an avocado cup but i think this is only one ounce total anyway so actually let me check before i lie to you oh no it's two ounces okay two ounces of avocado but it's still so good so i'm gonna eat this and then i'm on break right now i might throw on some makeup real quick um I'll see you when I eat something next. That was exactly what I wanted. So I had all of my egg, the cracker, and most of the avocado, but I am full now, so I'm good. All right, back to work. You can't, Sharpie's very upset because uh, I ate all the egg and I didn't save you any this time. 
The days are gone where I can't finish an egg sharpie, so I'm so sorry. You'll be fine. I think you'll live. I give you a cookie, right? Yeah, he'll live. He'll be fine. <laughs> Small change in plans. Since we are pretty dead at work, I asked to take a lunch, which I normally don't do, but I'm like, it's, it's already starting to snow today, so, um, it's already started to snow. It's only going to get worse. I th well, they say we're going to get a lot, but it's only supposed to snow for about six hours, so we'll see, but I'm sure the grocery store is going to be absolutely insane, so I'm taking a lunch, running to Meyer to pick up the last few things that I realized were missing and additional things I'm getting. So that is where I'm headed now. Uh, we're gonna pick up the last few things and then it'll be back to work. I don't think it's gonna be a very long day for me. Um, there's just not a lot of people in client-wise and not a ton of work going around. So I have some overtime in from Tuesday when I worked late. So I can technically cut like an hour and a half today so so I'm wasting basically an hour today by running out but I'd rather go now when there's no snow sticking to the ground than tonight after work when it's insane like everyone is out and it's snowing so I'm gonna run to Meyer and I'll see you when I'm done there I'm definitely not recording and people don't know how to drive um, definitely not recording inside because it's gonna be a free-for-all I am frozen solid. I don't know how people can wait till the last minute to like get all their groceries because there was like nothing left. Um, but I got what I needed, so that is good. And they had pumpkin spice zero sugar creamer on clearance. Like it's good till May, I think. So I bought two of them because they were a dollar fifty. And look, I could drink pumpkin spice year round, so. I have enough now to last me a little. They had like literally 50 of them in the cooler, but I'm like, I don't need more than two. Like, let's not be obsessive and stock up. So, all right, I am headed home. We're gonna make a quick lunch and then be back to work. I mean, I don't think there's anything for me to do, but uh, I can find something to do, I think. So, documentation. But yeah, it was insanely busy in there. Time to head home. That should hopefully be the last uh, stop before Christmas minus uh, picking up cookies tomorrow. So next we will see how much snow we get. So let's go home. I am back home and I didn't break open the salad kit quite yet. I had just enough of my romaine to make uh, enough of a salad. So I have that, a packet of tuna, uh, more of those crisps and a little bit of Caesar dressing I just bought. So I'm gonna eat this, get back to work, and we will see how long I can make it today. And then we need a, a full kitchen cleanup at some point to get ready for tomorrow's baking bread day. And tomorrow I also have to meal prep the sauce and the pull of sausage. So that'll be fun tomorrow, but for today, finishing work. I'm done with work. I was just outside in the backyard trying to shovel for the dogs because the snow has not accumulated on my driveway yet, um, but it has on the deck. So let me show you. It's it's everything I did is already covered, but let me show you. Okay, first off, I got snow all in my house because I left the door open, but that snow shovel worked so great. I cleared all this in like five minutes. So I need a better pattern to do so, but it was fun. And then I have my doggy safe ice melt to make all they need is a path from here to there. That's all I need to worry about. So try to warm back up. I'm gonna, I have to go read the um, thing to see how long that battery lasts, but I'm checking the front. Yeah, there's like nothing on my driveway. So that doesn't need to be done right now, which is great. Uh, I'm going to warm back up and then I'll probably eat a yogurt. I'm not super hungry, but basically I'm eating the same stuff as yesterday. So I know I'm going to be low. Um, so I need to at least eat the same exact stuff I did yesterday. So uh, have that with some granola and we'll see what we get up to for the rest of the day. Oh, 
and then I have to film my eight month post up update. So that'll probably be after you see this. All right, we are gonna do my eighth month update. So if you've just skipped this far, welcome to eight month update. Um, just as a reminder, I'll go over all my stats really quickly. Uh, surgery April 25th, highest weight was 310-ish, starting weight was 306. Uh, last month, I went back and rewatched my last video. Last month I weighed in at 230.6. And this morning I weighed in at 226.4. So that is a 4.2 loss, I would say for the month, but it's really like three weeks, I think, since the last time I updated, um, which is fine. The further you get out, the more it slows down, as long as I'm consistently losing at least a pound a week, which this is right around that, um, that number, then I am good. It's gonna take me a little bit longer to get to my end goal. Um, which ideally I would like to be around 180. Um, so I'm thinking by like this time next year, I'll be able to hit that just with the way that things are kind of slowing down. Unless something like crazy happens, which I don't, I don't see that changing. Um, I'm thinking it's going to still take me a good year to, to get to that goal, end goal. Um, I knew going in that it was going to take like more than a year of my life to dedicate to this. So we're staying consistent and trying to get down to that number. Um, the good news is, is that I'm only nine pounds away from the doctor's goal for my one year. So again, she wanted me to be like around 217 when I go back almost towards the end of April. So I'm only nine pounds away from that, which is great. Um, like I said, my personal goal is to be nearing 200 when I go back just to like not wow them, but just be like, look, I'm doing it. <laughs> I can do it. So that's my personal goal, but her, the doctor's goal, nine pounds away. So, um, so some new things that have happened this past month, which you've seen if you've been watching Vlogmas. So I have added in bread, not consistently. Um, well, with the loaf I had, I was eating it like almost every day. I have stopped buying it, which I've talked about before. I just don't feel like I need it right now. Like sure, having a sandwich is nice or a piece of toast with your breakfast is fine. But like, I don't find myself... I think I'm like head craving it. I'm not like my stomach wants it kind of a thing. So it sat fine. It was great. I, I could kind of fit it into my macros, but it's not something I'm looking to like get back into fully right now. Maybe down the line when I can eat more carbs, I will definitely want bread back into my life. But for now, I think it was one and done and I'm good for now. Um, the other thing that I've slowly started to add back in is alcohol. So you saw I had a couple drinks when Ashley was over. Um, and it, alcohol affected me a lot differently than I thought it was going to. Um, I definitely, <coughs> I definitely felt it faster. Like it hit me right away. And then I was, I had a good buzz going for about, I'd be sneezing. I had a good buzz going for about 20, 30 minutes maybe, and then it was like gone. So it hits you quick, it leaves quick, and that was good enough for me. That's all I need is that nice feeling for a little bit and then and then we're done. So um, just be cautious when you do add alcohol back in. I was cleared to do so. Um, I think at six months, technically I could start drinking. I know some for some people it's a year. I'm not an everyday drinker by any means. Special occasions, I'll have a mimosa on Christmas morning, but that's pretty much it uh, as far as alcohol goes. Um, so those were just two new things I added in this past month. Let's do a quick scar update check. Normally I do it in my bathroom, but I don't feel like going upstairs right now. So there is one, two, uh, let's see. They're hard to find now. I think this is three. How many did I have? Five? <laughs> uh, four. And you can guess where the last one is because I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to go look closer. But as you can see, about eight months out, they're pretty much blended into all the stretch marks I have. So it's a non-issue for me at this point. I don't bother putting anything on them anymore because they're going to be there. So what's what's the difference? 
let's talk hair for a minute. Today I am a little on the greasy side. That has not changed. I am still greasy. I don't know. It, it just is what it is. But um, I'm just learning to live with the dry shampoo and washing it when I feel like it needs it. Um, I'm trying not to wash it too often because I don't want it to keep getting oilier. So, uh, but as far as regrowth, all right, let's see if I can get a good shot. They are all definitely coming back now. And I think uh, before my last video, it was just before I was going to get a haircut and my hairstylist said it's not it, like it's growing back in everywhere. So even like underneath she checked and it's growing back. So it's not like just on the top kind of a thing. It's like everywhere. So eventually I will have my thick hair back um, and then maybe I'll grow it out again. But for now, we're staying short to give these little babies a fighting chance to get back to get back down. So that uh, is the hair update. Um, so it does come back. It just takes a little bit for it to do so. But um, that is all. And then I think I'm going back in March for another cut and some color. So we will lighten this up, I think, for spring. Give me some more highlights, all that fun stuff. So I'm excited for that. And it's three months away. It's three months away, but uh, fun hair changes coming in a couple months. All right, next are my vitamin updates. So I think uh, everything has basically stayed the same. I have swapped out my multivitamin for right now for these Berry Life Just Ones. You've seen me take them a couple days now. I feel good with them. They, so far, they have not made me nauseous. Granted, I've eaten them with food. Next week in Vlogmas, we are going to try it on an empty stomach um, just to see if, I guess, my tolerance has built up to bariatric strength vitamins. Um, but I, I've taken the other ones on an empty stomach, and they still make me nauseous. So we're going to give these a go probably on Monday. I think Monday's the day I don't have anything to do other than an eye doctor, but that's not till the afternoon. So Monday morning, I'm going to wake up, take one of these, and we're going to see how it goes. Because if I could just take everything in the morning and get it done with, minus the calcium, I would much rather do that than like remembering midway through the day, oh shoot, I got to eat something and then take my multi. So we're definitely going to give these a go. And then I have no complaints. They smell better than any other vitamin I've had. Granted, they still taste like a vitamin. Like it's still, it's still vitamin taste. They just smell a whole lot better. So I don't have a coupon code for these yet, but I will get in touch with Berry Life to see if we can save some money if you guys want to try these. All right, next is workouts, which have been a little inconsistent this month for sure with work and the holidays and all that kind of stuff. You know, if you've been watching, um, there, there's really not been a whole lot of movement going on, which I am looking to change. So starting Monday, I'm going to be starting uh, Jenna, the bariatric trainer's advanced workout, four week workout guide. So it is, I think, five days of activities, two rest days. I'm definitely going to give that a go to kind of reset everything. Um, and so I could keep hitting those goals, get down to what I want to, all that sort of thing. Because I need, I need the movement. To help with that, I'm also going to add in some pre and post workout things. And I have a little unboxing to do today. Uh, let me show you what I got from Motivate Performance. A little unboxing uh, they sent over to me to test out. So the first thing is not workout based. It's something that I have been wanting to add for the longest time, which is a greens powder. And I think this is gonna be the perfect one. So obviously I can't eat fruits and vegetables the way I want to, to get in those greens and superfoods. So this I think is gonna help me. My plan is to start with, uh, let's see, what is, how much did they say? Eight ounces of cold water. Um, my plan is to start my day with this before my coffee. That's the plan, even though I love coffee, I know this is gonna be more important in the morning to kind of like get me all those nutrients so then I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. So it also supports optimal nutrition absorbment. There's a bunch of fiber in here for, for digestive support, which is exactly what I need. Um, and has a lot of powerful antioxidants and immune support. So I'm very excited to add this into my routine and that will be starting on Monday. 
The next thing that they sent over was their pre-workout or their burn as they call it. Um, so this helps reduce appetite, supports your mood, um, helps you, helps burn fat and it gives you that good energy all day. So, and this has the caffeine in it. There's another option that doesn't have caffeine, which I'm really excited for. Um, but I've tried this before, I think a couple weeks ago, I had some sample packs that I really enjoyed. And while I don't do caffeine on the daily, every once in a while that can get me through a workout, I'm going to do it. So that is definitely going into the rotation. The other thing they also sent me, um, is there no stim burn? So this has zero caffeine in it but you still get all of that energy, focus, get a good pump workout in with it. So I am definitely gonna try this one first on Monday. Um, this is Miami Lemonade flavor, which I love a good lemonade, you all know this. So this is definitely going to start my Monday morning before a workout. We will get this in and see how it goes. So I'm very excited about the no stim. Then for after the workout, they also sent over the aminos. So I got this in watermelon. These are electrolytes, BCAAs, to help your body recover after a workout. It also helps you recover faster and increases hydration. So this is going to be a great after workout thing that I'm going to add in. And hopefully all of these things added, all the powders and the greens and the work, new workout routine are going to help me hit my goals even faster. So I do have a discount code I will have below if you want to save 20% on your order. They also have um, like sample packs. If you didn't want to go for the whole kit and caboodle of the, this is the burn, they have the amino sample packs. So if you use my code, um, and you get free shipping. I think a sample pack is $12.99. So I will have everything linked below uh, if you want to check that out. And we'll continue on with the eight month update. But thank you, Motivate, for sending all this over. And I cannot wait to share with everyone. All right, the last thing for today, I'm just going to show a couple before and after pictures since the last time. I haven't really changed that much, obviously. I've only lost about four or five pounds. Uh, but some of you don't follow me over on Instagram, and that's where I do a lot of my before and after pictures. So I'm going to put a couple here, and then we will get on with the rest of our day. So we'll continue with the normal what I eat in a day, all that other fun stuff, whatever I get up to. But thanks for sticking around for this part of today's video. Eight months. I can't believe it. I say that every month, but we're getting to the new year, which has been like, it'll be almost a full year since I went in for my first uh, appointment with my surgeon, which was in February. So very exciting things to come. And I'm going to try to keep up and keep going on this crazy journey, but let's get back into regular vlogmas now. having my other enchilada for dinner. And then I have to go up front and shovel. I don't have to shovel the whole driveway. Luckily, it hasn't been sticking, but my sidewalk needs to be shoveled. So I'm gonna get warm first with this food and then shovel and freeze outside. So that'll be next. Tell me why I burned more calories in 18 minutes, shoveling snow outside and in the deck again than I do in a normal workout. Why? It is, oh my God, it is no joke out there. Holy crap. Um, it is now three degrees outside. Feels like zero. My fingers froze instantly. I look like a freaking hot mess and a half. Um, but driveway's done. I don't want to really show you the front of my house for creepo purposes. I'll show you the back. No, we're not gonna focus. There we go. Uh, redid the back deck again. It's still snowing as you can tell. So, should be an interesting morning. It is way too cold to be out there though. These guys are crying. I have my normal towel set up for winter. So, towel on the floor, my boots and gloves over the heater. So they dry a little bit faster, but this is gonna be a mess until the snow is done. The first snowstorm really does kick you in the butt. I really have to clean my face off, but um, my dinner powered me through. So I think with that, let me check. 
Um, I also got a couple workout minutes uh, when I went to the grocery store. So I don't know if I was like running through the store not realizing it or not. So I'm actually past my move goal for today. Sorry, I keep checking my watch. Uh, I don't have my exercise goal. So I might do like a 10 minute thing and then pop in the shower. So I'm gonna feed the puppies, get them all settled, probably do a quick workout. Uh, and then probably call the night, but I still have to put in all my food because I don't know where I'm at today. Nope. Feels like it's 10 o'clock at night, but it's nowhere near that. So uh, for my last like snack of the day, because I'm pretty low in calories, I'm going to have a balance break while I watch some TV. And then I will put everything into my phone and let you know where I'm at for today. I'm going to end it here for the night. I've been cleaning up the house a little bit. Kitchen is somewhat clean. Family room's clean. I have everything ready for tomorrow morning to start bread. And I also prepped two loaves um, so that they could go overnight. Let me show you that real quick. I just have them sitting in the oven. So two loaves will get the 12 hour uh, rest, rise, whatever they call it. Those will get the 12 hour fermentation. The other ones will only get a couple hours. So this way tomorrow we're not starting behind. Um, let's go over my stats for today. Actually a pretty decent day. It's at 1128 calories, 42 carbs. So even less carbs today. Um, and it was like 103 grams of protein. So not bad. My water has not been super great today. Um, so that's the one thing I am lacking a little bit. So I'm going to make like a 12 ounce cup of tea for bed tonight. Um, but thank you for watching today. We're getting real close to Christmas Eve. Um, thanks for watching my eight month check-in video. If you're looking for real-time updates, go ahead and follow me at gina.bsg. Just in case you're watching this way down the line, and it's not Christmas 2022 anymore. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to jump below and I'll see you tomorrow for our bread making day here at Vlogmas. Bye.